When fleets are not in port, they cost a certain number of sailors each month to maintain. One per light ship. That's almost 500 right there. Maritime ideas reduce the number of sailors required for missions. I've already got that. Dutch idea does too. I've already got that. No policies affect it. Sailor recovery. Mothballing does. Exploiting development does. Raiding coasts does. But does maintenance costs? Ship maintenance is calculated as a percentage of initial cost. That's only for money. I don't know if that's true for sailors. Of course, <laughs> of course the capital didn't have one. And because I got to 50 development, I was able to get another build slot. Uh, there's actually a lot of things not here. I could potentially get rid of the marketplaces. We've already got the shipyard. There's actually quite a few places here that do not have sailor maintenance. And none of my Danish provinces do. That's very interesting. Well, anything that gives land force limits, I'm going to get rid of. Which is all of these, because I don't need those. And then I can replace those with sailors. Boom. That's a lot more. Zeland produces fish. I can get rid of the workshop and replace you. The dry dock instead, that's another 1,300. Here. I can get rid of the church, potentially. That's going to be another one. Neither of these have them. I think I want to keep the manpower buildings. So yeah, we're going to get rid of the churches. In the provinces where we don't have shipyards yet, or dry docks, whatever they're called. And then Utrecht and Vlaanderen. Okay. That should help significantly. That's a lot of dry docks I'm building. Okay, I think we may have fixed this problem. Second question, how is development spreading? Slowly as hell. But it is spreading. Hooray! We finished the war! 
And you gained three provinces from it. Congratulations. Now go home. You actually suffered a bunch of attrition sitting there. All right. Malak is still fighting Ming. They have no allies. Let's do this. And I'm going to merge my battle fleets together because I somewhat suspect I may need them. What's my naval tradition at the moment? It is 31. I can't believe it's so low. I gain 1.5 a year due to protecting trade. And I have a lot of world ports which also increase it. Bizarre. Oh, that's actually literally an island. Okay. I thought there was a connection here. It looks like there's quite a few Ming ships out here. Right, so we've taken Bali. Jump on ships. Jump on ships. One at a time. Ah, uh, damn it, did it again. Oh, I see. 2,000 went on the other ship. Irritating, but not the end of the world. Could fight Ming right after and force an explosion. True. What? <laughs> Where are these rebels? I have a feeling that's that's a whole lot of not my problem. All right, we have another fleet here. Let's take a look at the protecting trade again. In fact, I'm going to put you in the North Sea. Protect trade, North Sea. Tech trade. Gujarat or Aiden? Gujarat. Uh, we could also be putting a bunch of ships into Malacca. You know what? I'm going to put you into Malacca. You are going to be in the Caribbean. How's Chesapeake and Co. doing? Alright, so we're taking a lot more money out of Chesapeake. We're actually getting 75% of Chesapeake. There's still a lot of money being left behind, but that's because there's just a lot of money flowing around. I think I'm going to put you in St. Lawrence. We have a couple more still, still being built. Alright, army's still unloading. Once you take an enemy castle on their territory, do you gain the castle's defense benefits? Um, some of them, but not all of them. So, for example, yes, uh, defensive battles will still go in your favor, but they won't, for example, recapture automatically surrounding territory. That's a lot of Ottoman troops you have just sitting there. There's all the dry docks. How does that change things? Not hugely. Actually, those are all the small dry docks. The dry docks still being built, these ones are the big ones. And I'm now completely out of manpower, which is also not good because we're going to be suffering a lot of attrition here. So I guess that's the other thing I could do is make sure all my training grounds are upgraded. So that we'll just build them everywhere.
don't know where their armies are. Slightly concerning. Actually, stay here. New fleet just arrived. Good. I mean, we're about to gain a bunch more uh, trade network territory when we take this. You want to make sure you have two armies just marching in parallel here. So we'll take that, because this whole island's just like parallel, 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 parallel. Where is Malika's fleet? They still have them. Oh, there's their army. Hi. Um, what's much? Quality. They have more morale. I have a lot more discipline. And more tactics. They right now have the more troops. Now we're roughly equal. Wow, I am murdering them. That was extremely one-sided. Well, that's good to know. My army definitely matches up, though. We are low on manpower, which is a problem. Can I request manpower from minions? I think it's just sailors, isn't it? Yeah. thought they finally fixed the fort issues. Well, they've fixed some stuff. I don't know whether it's all fixed, though. The Bank of Amsterdam and the international capital market. Ever since the Bank of Amsterdam, the Dutch financial sector has been the hub of the European capital market. Dutch bankers are involved in everything from the wars to the manufactories of other European powers as well as various domestic enterprises. As mercantilism and protectionism closes off many foreign markets, however, the international position that once was the strength of the Dutch banking establishment has suddenly become its weakness. As it has become known that the bank has allowed the Dutch government and its companies to overdraw its accounts and credibility, the institution is also shaken to its very foundation. The Bank of Amsterdam is now ready to declare itself insolvent, and it seems only a matter of time before we see the general effect of this on the Dutch economy. So we can try to save the bank, which is 10 inflation and 100 admin, or we lose interest per annum goes up for 10 years, as does inflation reduction. I mean, I'm still lo losing a lot of inflation. I'm going to save the bank. Paying an extra 10% doesn't really bother me. Prominent economists have been questioning the rapid increases in the tea imports to our nation recently. I had absolutely nothing to do with the increase in tea imports for our nation. I definitely don't make up personally 100% of those tea imports. Run away! After one of our neighbours came to control a large quantity of the world's known tea supply, through deft trade practices, their beverage beverages have grown very popular even amongst the Dutch people. Protectionist politicians are now questioning whether such imports of luxury goods benefit the Netherlands, arguing they're growing dependent on a good which our neighbours control weakens our economic positions. But can we just buy their goods? Like, just, just buy everything that they have? If we discard tea, civilization will surely follow. Reduces uh, advisor cost. Who needs tea when we have coffee? Blah. Should dump their tea into the ocean. Don't like it salty. No, nope. if we discard tea, civilization will surely follow. It's just tea. Muffins! Oof. Oof. You hurt me to my very core. Vinland's back. Somewhere. Not sure where. Still nobody's taken over Greenland. I'm actually surprised by that. Speaking of uh, taking over places, how many colonists do I have? I have four colonies. We can get rid of you. And you. Right, two more colonists. One we send here, one we send here. Perfect. There's their navy. That's a f bucket load of ships they have. Um, 
I'm wondering if I want to keep re-rolling admirals to see if I can get somebody better. I think I have to. We'll keep calling him Tarkus. Nope. Yes, there we are. Have Uber Tarkus, not Crappy Tarkus. And then we can get rid of the other two. Um, that's going to be 170 ships. I do not want to get entangled with that. Meanwhile, these guys have arrived. Tech Trade. Malika. Tech Trade. Malika. Tech Trade. Malika. I'm surprised that none of my trade protection fleets have come up against theirs. Uh, where is this really? Caribbean. Oh, here they come again. Let's wait until they're locked and then we'll charge in. Go. Dry docks have been built. And these are the big ones. So we've we've increased our sailor production by about 100 a month, but we're still behind. Yeah, I feel like we're just going to be tapping the colonies for sailors now. And our entire army got here in time. We're fully established, fully positioned. This is going to be... Horrific. We killed 16,000. We lost about four. They are picking off the tiny look fleets that I built there. Can't do that until I've taken Koali. Interesting. Um, well, let's see where else I can build special buildings. I think I've done them everywhere I can. Although I haven't checked the Philippines any time recently. Also very much need to get rid of those rebels. Was that the wrong building? That was the wrong building. Okay, so we found some places where we hadn't built them yet. 
quickly before they arrive. Quickly. God damn it. Ah, oh, where? What? Oh, those Arissa guys. Yeah, we're dealing with them already. And we're coming in with another 27,000. I might need to start switching to mercenary infantry, though. What's my income? 766 a month. Curse you, Mordred. I'm installing Shogun 2 right now. Sorry. Completely and utterly not sorry. Oh no, my military engineer died. Um, we'd best replace him with... Uh, none of these are Dutch, so I can't promote any of them. And we are only four years away from the next military technology, so as much as I would like to have more leader fire, I really don't think I can afford to do so. Alright, let's see if we can take out this small fleet just while they're there on their own. Nope, they docked away. Eight hundred ducats a month. There we go. New record. They're slowly but surely taking these provinces, but as soon as I take the fort, then they can't actually pass between them anymore. And there it is. Although they significantly outnumber us here. So I'm actually going to group you together. I'm going to build a supply depot so you're not taking the attrition. And we're going to land you and grab these 26,000 troops. Then we're going to take control of half of the island and we're going to start mass producing mercenaries. From that half. Training fields, those are all manpower. Stock exchange, that's all trade. Watching this fleet sailing off in the wrong direction. to get involved in. That's actually most of their transport fleet right there. Go, 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 go. Yes! Uh, Diplotech cost reduction sounds awesome. Now I'm definitely going to need to get some more sailors, so... Hey, minions! Give me your sailors. Uh, you as well. Uh, not you. You, you, you can't, you, you. Yeah, they don't have very many sailors left either. Here comes a Ming fleet. No, that's a Ming army. And their heavies are sailing the wrong way. <laughs> 